Hi there, it's Pete. Um, I just wanted to show you a few of my band photos um, for, I suppose, about 20 to 30 years. So, um, so this is how I first started um, in the folk trio. If you can see me there. Um, this is with Ellis and Mandy. Uh, we sort of uh, formed a little folk trio when we were actually learning to play the guitars. So even Mandy was playing guitar at the time, but when we f um, formed our little um, folk trio, um, Scratch Free it was called, because we started from scratch, uh, not even knowing any chords really. Um, so um, obviously we started off easy, when we learned sort of five or six chords, and we were well away then. So that's how we started. So um, here we are. We, uh, I think, Ellis and I had the same ovation. I think it was um, Tangle Tanglewood guitars, and uh, Mandy was playing a Yamaha keyboard. So we've done lots of um, folk clubs, that sort of thing, and lots of. Um, um, residential homes for the elderly. We used to do a lot of um, gigs for them, that sort of thing. That's how I first started. So um, I was a handsome chap back then. I had I had some hair as well. So <laughs> so then we sort of um, moved on. We'll just go over this way a minute. So there we are again. That was um, um, Ellis, me, and Mandy, and a friend um, playing a folk club. We might have been playing a gig actually, and um, and there's me with my Tanglewood guitar, my Ovation. So um, not got many of the folk um, photographs. I'll see if I can find some more actually. But um, then we started off playing rock and roll. So um, there's Ellis, so um, Ellis, Glenn, and me. Um, I was playing a Fender Strat at, at the time. Um, where Glenn, Glenn was really a fantastic lead player. Uh, he was playing bass for our little band at the at the time, but um, he was um, a really really good lead guitarist. So um, this little band, Ellis was actually playing lead. Glenn was playing bass, and I was playing rhythm guitar so I had um, a Fender Stratocaster at the time so um, there we are playing another gig um, you can see me there Glenn and Ellis uh, that was great times I'm trying to find a date there is a date on the is that 96 is that 22 96 if I can zoom on it I think it is yeah so it's 22 12 96, so that's uh, quite a long time ago. So, um, right, so that's two bands. Um, this band was called Gibbon Rock, as in the, the Monkey Gibbon. Um, we had a couple more names as well. We sort of changed our, our names a bit. So that's the second band that we was with, or who I was with. Um, there's another little picture here. Of, of me um, was playing in a little festival uh, like a music festival yeah great fun that was it's weird this photo I don't know what went wrong with the camera um, but it sort of went all funny and it came off back to front so I should have been playing um, who are my two sort of I should have been playing here really where Ellis is so when I had the um, the actual camera, um, the actual film developed, it's back to front. So I, which I'm here now, I don't know if you can see that, it's very, um, so that's me, Glenn and Ellis. And oh, don't forget, I mustn't forget my son-in-law, the actual drummer. It's right in the back there as well. So, um, right. So that is that. So that's my little folk sort of scene that I was with for several years. So then I sort of, um, I had sort of like a year off and I sort of um, advertised some musicians and I got 
this chap here and um, very very good he, he was um, an excellent player and um, yeah and there's me playing the bongos so um, this chap was called Williams absolutely fantastic player we didn't actually do any gigs or anything but every week we played together for about three years I think it was and um, yeah so absolutely brilliant right so that's three bands I was with I mean this was only like a little little get together really for I think it was only for I said three years I think it was only for about 12 months really I sort of had a I'm not quite sure about that but um, yeah absolutely brilliant so then that's the third little group I was with so now the last little group I was with for several years and we've actually done some recording so we've, we've done lots of demo tapes so this is my my next sort of gig um, there's no no dates there I think we finished in a one I think it was I'm not quite sure but as you can see there's me the bass player and um, it started off really I'll tell the little history of this I'll go up here a little bit it started off as like a 10 piece band it was it was quite um so one two three four five six seven there at the moment but it started off as about a 10 piece band so there's me right up in the um, right hand corner there and um yeah that was a really really good band um a lot of musicians are very experienced and they knew what they were doing and uh we had lots of gigs we were playing oh, about three three nights a week really it's a lot really and um obviously playing that <clears throat> i mean you've got to think of your family you know there's a chap called john edwards he was our drummer he was an excellent drummer really really good here he is with his um his new i actually bought his red i don't know if there's a picture of his red um drum kit i actually bought that one and um he bought this fusion yamaha kit it was it's just a little bit smaller for um getting in smaller places really but my god it has some really good sound and um here's John actually playing his red, which I bought. I actually bought this set and um, for my daughter, really, and uh, she loved playing it. And uh, there's my lead singer. See me there, there on in the left hand corner. And um, here's our. We went to a recording studio at the Laughing Cat recording studio in Cornwall. I think it was near Nuki actually. This is the um, the second recording studio that we went to, and um, we we uh, kept on doing like free demo tapes, sort of free songs to a, an actual tape or a, or a CD, I should say. Yeah, so great, great fun. There's us um, practicing. There's me again in the playing the bass. So um. There's me again playing the bass so that's a PV bass I'm not quite sure what the actual number was on it but uh, there is a picture somewhere where I'm playing my um, fender position I think it's here actually there it is so that's me actually playing my fender um, absolutely lovely guitar this one I know it was uh, a lot of money but um, I just uh, I just fancied it, so I saved up and got it. So yeah, that was great fun. That was. And here we are at a at a gig. Uh, this is um a gig at Gunwaller down right in the bottom of Cornwall, really. And uh, as you can see, there's uh, all the um the food menu was at um at the back of this on a blackboard. 
But um, this my that's my um, Yamaha guitar there, which um, it must have been 20, 20 years old then, I should think. But um, so we ended up really as a five-piece band from a ten-piece to a five-piece, and um, that's how we stayed for several years. So um, absolutely brilliant. So uh, I do even see my PV a little bit better on in this one. It's a nice slim neck on it. That's what I used to like. Yeah, really great. So um, we had some guests. We had um, John, our drummer's son. He was a brilliant guitarist. Really, really, really great guitarist there. And um, yeah, he was. Uh, yeah, I reckon he was uh, really, really, really good. So this picture, this is early on. This is when we had two singers. Um, and the keyboard player was married to the drummer. Which was, um, which was good. And uh, the keyboard player was right in the middle here of the um, two singers. Excellent keyboard player uh, as well. But we... Um, yeah... There we are. That's most of it, I think. I have got hundreds and hundreds of photographs of me playing and stuff. So, um, so uh, there's me in the middle <laughs> with hair. But so we were like a rock and roll sort of band, sort of present um, day music right up to the 60s. That sort of thing. We used to do a lot of um, a lot of what should I say? Well, really nice music, really. But we used to do a lot of instrumentals. Um, here we are actually doing an instrumental, I think, without the singers. So uh, we've called the Twilights. Right. So thanks for taking a look and. Um, I've been wondering how to do this, but I'm hoping it's going to be okay. Hopefully. It's not going to be too blurry. So there's me on the very end. Right. I'll see you all again. Thanks for taking a look.